Hey guys, all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the difference between the gears first. So, take a look at this. The gears are offset. If you look, there's a shoulder at the bottom and then the gears. So, they will either be spaced this way or this way. And this is done so that when you have two rows next to each other, the gears don't mesh. And this keeps them from locking up the entire tray. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to assemble a double coil and then a second double coil right next to it. So uh, just follow along. All right, so first we have our conversion kit here. And as you can see, it's got what we'll call the top hat, a washer, a gear. On the end is the retainer and you can see the shaft sticking out here, which the shaft also looks like this on the back side. All right. The way that this works is the shaft runs all the way through the gear, and then you have a washer that slides on, and the retainer, which has this little shoulder on the very end, slides over the shaft and into the washer like so. So when it's clipped, it looks like that. And this is what holds it in the back of the tray in this hole. You'll see that this hole has two flat sides that coincide with this you can see how it's flat and so it will go in like so and then lock in these flat sides will lock it in it's important to take note about the orientation of the shoulder on this first one we're going to put the shoulder to the rear so the front the coil goes this way the shaft goes through the wall this way and the shoulder is right here so we'll have this much space between the back wall that's back there and the gear so, we take the washer with the flat portions faced away and slide it on. Then, slide this into the hole, lining up the flat part, and we put the top hat over the back and lock it on until it clips, like so, and it will spin freely. Looking down on the gear, it will look like this, and looking on the back, there's the top hat. When we go to assemble, we want to make sure that this space right here, which is the index of the coil, is faced to the inside of the tray. We're then going to take the second one that has just the shaft sticking out the back and make it point towards it. Right here's the motor, and you can see the hole, line it up push it in, as it goes in, lock the teeth together. And if you see, I used the gear in the wrong orientation, so they didn't mesh. So that's the one thing we gotta watch for. So making sure that we have the gear with the same orientation of the shoulder to the rear, and the gears towards the retainer, what we're gonna do, we're gonna line it up, and slide it in, until it clicks, making sure the teeth mesh, teeth mesh, if I can say that correctly, and lock it in, and voila, that one is ready to go. We'll move on to the next one. All right, beginning again with our shaft and gear, retainer, top hat, and washer, and our secondary one, we're going to assemble these the same. Make note that the shoulder is in the same orientation on both. We need to make sure, as we looked at the first one, the shoulder was to the rear, so that the gear was forward. Now we need to make sure that the gear is flipped over and the shoulder is to the front. The way you do this is you pinch the front and push the shaft out the back. You have your retainer and your gear. So then we're going to twist or flip the gear like a pancake so that the shoulder is then in the front, push the shaft through the hole of the gear, and reassemble. Now, the gear shoulder is between the retainer and the gear, rather than having the shoulder to the rear like the first one. Here's the importance of making sure that the shoulders are not the same. If the shoulders are all in the same orientation, you'll see the gears would be meshed up. 
this is why we have to reverse the orientation of the gear all right now that i've got it assembled you can see right here here's the gear the shoulders to the rear here's the other gear the shoulders to the front this allows them to spin freely if this was in the same orientation as this this would be locked into here and this row here would not work and this row here would not work either as before take your shaft gear and retainer with your gear in the correct orientation making sure that this retainer the slot is faced in the center taking this making sure the slot is faced to the center slide it in making sure that the gears line up and it's locked you now have two double coils gears to the rear gears to the front